And there's more tonight on a NewsHour investigation that turned up a staggering number of illegal garbage dumps along BC's back roads and trails, leaching dangerous toxins into an otherwise pristine forest. A number of off-road clubs are now telling us that the problem is only getting worse, even though every year they voluntarily clean up thousands of kilos of trash. And environmentalists are calling for more enforcement. Yet again, we find more garbage. The debris in BC's forest seems to be building, including apparent grow-up trash and meth lab remnants. It's extremely frustrating and upsetting. As our population grows in the lower mainland, we tend to see more garbage accumulating uh, in areas that you would hope it wouldn't. We have landfills, we have garbage collection systems, we have recycling programs in British Columbia. There is no excuse for people to use our beautiful outdoors as a dumping ground. Pigs, just just nasty pig pigs. But what's been happening uh, lately, I think, is it's been getting a lot worse. And we need to take some steps to, to, to uh, prosecute and to get the stuff cleaned up. The forest desecration has been well documented by Jody Tarswell and Matt McDonald, who wrote to the government about cleaning it up. I'd be more than willing to come up here and work on this. I would love to have this as my job to clean up the Forest Service roads. Mm -hmm. It's the Ministry of Environment and Ministry of Forests, and the good people there, many of them are either laid off or have had their budgets cut so much they can't get out into the bush. As much as we have increased and maintained enforcement staff for the last couple of years in the Ministry of Environment, we can't be behind every tree all the time. This is the stave light cleanup. This entire trailer is completely filled to the brim. It, it's terrible. Uh, the amount of debris that we are finding out on Forest Service roads as part of our normal cleanup events is, is just tremendous. They gathered 4,000 kilograms of trash, 2,000 kilograms of metal for recycling last year. They're going out again June 5th. We're expecting to work with the community groups to try to hold some cleanup events up in that area and just try to increase the uh, the traffic of responsible outdoor enthusiasts in the area and thereby try to, you know, convince the, uh, the undesirable element to move along or, or to at least maybe grow a brain cell or two.